We jump in uh, for another pen of these all-out wars. Uh, this will be lot 3, 14-4, and lot 4, 14-5. Uh, dash 4 is the predominantly blue one, or, or the all-blue one with white front feet there as Levi hooks her up on the stick. And, uh, you know, a, a cool colored one, uh, no doubt, and uh, re, uh, reminds me a lot of uh, kind of the Dash 2 guilt we just kind of pulled out of here uh, and just talked. But uh, this one's probably got just a little bit more elevation up front. Uh, reads as a big ring female. And, uh, again, you know, uh, one that looks like she's on her way up. She's big in terms of her chest. She's right in terms of her arm uh, and still big in terms of her front foot and her rear ankle size. Uh, you know, maybe just a little greener there in terms of her shape and just body. Uh, but uh, one that's super square and darn sure has the width and the, and the power uh, today uh, to go ahead and, and figure out what endpoint uh, you want to be when. But I uh, do like this blue one, uh, the solid blue one, uh, quite well. Uh, what, what's your thoughts there, Sawyer? Uh, again, uh, I think of the litter, she uh, she reads with a shot more extension and, and length of body, but the whole litter so far has still stayed true down low. And again, like Bryce talked, that one is square chested. She's opened up and, and they're all uh, really square in terms of their hock and the way they utilize their, their build down low, I think is very good. Again, I think that one's a, a still stout scold and big forearm and, and reads like, uh, like she has a, a real good chance to feed. Yeah, and we'll see if she'll just kind of prop up here just a little bit before we go back to or go go on to the other one. But hip and hind leg and ankle size and just feature I just think is so good out of this particular sow. Uh, we call her bubbles here on the farm, uh, but uh, like this guilt quite a bit. We'll jump right into uh, dash five here. And, man, this one is trendy, and this one catches about everybody's eye when they jump in uh, because this one's so neat to look at. Uh, you know, you talk about skull shape, you talk about jaw, and you talk about having a tight throat latch with a big front arm and a tight sternum and still I think this one's proportions and just length of body reads so so good uh, she's ultra square off both ends of her skeleton still very good in the lower portion of her forerib and still got a good sweep down low in terms of her body depth uh, I think she's absolutely mechanical in terms of her rear leg uh, uses it so well got big fat square dense toes that push and grab and have motivation from behind uh, I think this one's awful special and if if you, you miss this one in the offering, that's your own fault because that's just good livestock in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, definitely probably not a sleeper in the set. Um, haven't seen the rest of them, but if they look like this, uh, you could go a lot of miles and, and struggle to find find ones that look like this. Uh, flag-tailed, really stout scold, huge chested. Um, again, I think her feature probably reads as genuine as any in the litter, and, and by no means are any of them frail in this litter. Um, probably, probably reads just a, a scotch more moderate than, than the litter mates. But again, her, her length of body just still reads like, uh, she's going to grow again. Uh, that one's really, really good built up on her toes. Awesome in terms of her flexibility and has the extras in terms of feature and width. Uh, I like that one a bunch. Yeah, so this will be lot three, 14 dash four will be the predominantly blue one in the corner. And lot four, 14-5, uh, kind of the blue spotted up one with the flag tail that Sawyer likes. 